The New York Yankees are still searching for their first World Series title since 2009, and it remains to be seen how the roster will look for 2023. So let's talk about the Bronx Bombers' future with New York Post sports reporter Greg Joyce. Greg, I know it's the offseason, but uh, the hot stove's heating up. How you doing? Good, Dexter. Thanks for having me. Always glad to have you, Greg. Now, Greg, Yanks manager Aaron Boone, he's going to be back for his sixth year. And GM Brian Cashman, he's expected to return for year 26. You can view their tenures as great continuity or a franchise that's stuck in its ways. So in your eyes, which one is it? Yeah, I think they're they're going for the continuity and hoping that it pays off. Obviously, you know, for the third time in the last six years, they had their season end by the Astros and the ALCS. <clears throat> so you can view that, obviously, as they keep on you know, giving themselves a shot in the postseason and getting closer. But obviously, you know, I don't think it helps that it's the Astros and the ALCS that keeps on being their roadblock. So uh, they're bringing, bringing Boone back that, you know, he signed a three-year deal last year. So uh, him coming back isn't, isn't a huge surprise, despite, you know, some of the criticisms he got for some of his in-game decisions in the postseason. Uh, Brian Cashman also expects to be back for another year. Uh, he is working without a contract at the moment, um, but it sounds like both sides expect to, to get something done. Uh, instead of making some, you know, some seismic change to to the front office, which would, which would certainly shake things up, and I, I know, and you know, I think a portion of the fan base would would like to see that, but obviously this team keeps on giving itself a chance, and they they believe that, you know, if they keep on doing that, that they're going to put themselves in a good position to to finally break through one of these years. Now, Greg, you brought up the team that brings Yankee fans a lot of pain. That is Houston Astros, and in the sit down interview with the Yes Network on Monday that aired, Hal Steinbrenner said that health was a factor as to why the Yanks didn't get the job done against the Strolls. He prefaced that by saying, just want to be clear, that he's not going to make excuses. So is this statement a fair one, or did the Bronx Bombers underachieve this pro season? Yeah, I think it's a little bit of both. They, they certainly underachieved. You know, the guys that were healthy, underperformed. Um, you know, their offense went real silent in the ALCS, especially against the Astros. Uh, that being said, they, they definitely did get hurt by injuries, the guys that they thought. Uh, would help with their, you know, DJ LeMahieu and Andrew Benintendi, who are two contact-oriented bats, especially, you know, could have been a big help against the Astros. They were also, also missing a lot of the bullpen pieces. Uh, you know, Chad Green, Michael King were hurt early, you know, mid middle of the season. And then Scott Efros, they found out right before the playoffs, had to get Tommy John surgery. Ron Marinaccio had a shin injury that he wasn't able to come back from. So certainly a lot of key pieces, uh, you know, that they were missing for injuries during the postseason hurt. That being said, you know, Almost every team is dealing with injuries. The Astros were missing uh, a veteran and Michael Brantley. Obviously, he would have helped them, but they found a way to to get past that. So, I, you know, I, I think the injury thing, it is true. Like the, the the lineup in the bullpen that they imagined having, it wasn't at a full force in the playoffs. But, you know, the best teams find a way to, to kind of get past that despite the injuries, you know, no matter how many they might have. That's right. Best teams find a way to get it done. Now, Steinbrenner, he also talked several times about the team's young trio of Anthony Volpe, Oswald Peraza, and Oswaldo Cabrera. Should fans expect all three of those players to be major contributors in 2023? Yeah, it's a good question. Uh, you know, it, it, from what Brian Cashman said uh, a few weeks ago, it sounds like they're going to have a competition at shortstop uh, in, in spring training. So you figure that would include uh, Isaiah Conner-Falefa, who started at shortstop almost all this season. And, and then you mix in Oswald Peraza, who came up late and showed himself well. Uh, Anthony Volpe, who finished the season at AAA, but is their top prospect. And then Oswaldo Cabrera, we saw him moving around a bunch of different positions, and he was pretty valuable in that role, being able to be a kind of a utility guy. So, you know, all those guys can be involved in that competition. Uh, I did think it was interesting that Steinbrenner said that he envisions Volpe and Peraza being, you know, the, the middle infield of the future. Obviously, Glaber Torres right now is their second baseman. Um, he was involved in some trade talks at the deadline, so it's possible he could be on the move again this offseason. Obviously, um, you know, I know a lot of the fan base would like to see one of those kids kind of take the job in spring training. Um, there was a lot of frustration, at least from the fan base, with Connor Falefa and his defense that the Yankees said, according to their, you know, their own internal metrics, that they thought he was one of the best in the league. But, um, you know, those young guys are certainly knocking on the door. Whether or not they're ready to go on right away on opening day remains to be seen. I think Praz is a little bit closer, obviously, since he got a taste this past year. But Volpe, uh, you know, he, they've been talking about him, um, you know, a lot the last few years. So whether he's ready by opening day or maybe middle of the season, uh, it seems like he'll certainly be a factor at some point next year. We will see a lot of questions about the Yankees roster, and obviously the big one, will they bring back Aaron Judge? We will see. That is Greg Joyce, New York Post sports reporter. Greg, thank you for your time and talking about the Bronx Bombers. Thanks, Dexter. Appreciate it.